Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Doing Boke, where I teach everything about analytics and automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can retrieve employees' information from Power Automate. And we're going to do that by using this case study. Within my team, I want people to fill a form, just one single question form, to know if they are willing to go on a vacation with the team this year or not. And after that, I want to send them a personalized message. And you know, and it makes a lot of sense when you had an experience to your data collection. So what that means is instead of you just sending a form to people to fill, and when they fill that's all, you shouldn't stop there. Try to create an experience. When they fill, let them get an email that's okay, we've recorded your response. You know, just say something sweet, at least something as a means of engagement for them, even after filling the form. And I'm going to do that here. It's going to be an automated flow because anytime someone fills the form, this flow should be triggered. Then I'm going to select automated flow. I'm going to say vacation. I'm going to say vacation flow. This is the automated flow. I need to select a trigger. So what should happen for this flow to run when a new response is submitted, which is on Microsoft form? Anytime someone fills that form, this flow should run. I'm going to click on create. It's asking me if this is your first time of doing this, it might take some seconds, like 15, 10 seconds, just to sign into your form so that I can retrieve these, um, can link them together and be able to retrieve every form information here. Remember, my form is vacation decision, which I'm then going to look for vacation. You can see vacation decision. So the next step here is to collect everything that's been filled by that person. So how do you get that in Power Automate? Use the action card called Get Response Details. Get Response. You can see Get Response Details. Get Response Details. What is the form ID? Because it's possible for a particular form to trigger a flow, and the information you need to get is another form. This time around, it's still the same form that triggers my flow that I want to collect information from. And whose information am I collecting? The person, the ID that got the flow triggered. That's the response ID. So whoever filled the form at that time is going to collect every information available from that person. Let us see those information we have. But before that, I want to send a mail. That's the essence. That is the experience I'm trying to create. Send an email. Send an email. Okay send an email this is this this is a disclaimer here that this microsoft form that i create i do not link it to a z online and you can see that here so even after filling this form if i download the data it's going to have my name okay i'm going to show you one preview and i'm just going to say yes and i'm going to submit now i have a response there let us see how the template looks like i'm going to save this template I'm going to open it so that we see. So what are the information that are available on the data? So automatically it's collecting these things for us. My email, my name and my response, yes. The ID, the date time, start time, the completion time. I'm feeling whose email am I sending this mail to is the person that fills the form. Yeah, I have the respondent's e respondent's email. Cool. What is the okay, let us set the subject now? I'm gonna put updates or let's say thanks for your response. So I want to call this person by his or her name, but right here I don't have it in Power Automate. So how am I going to get this name? Because it's not available in those responses that have been you know, retrieved from the form. Meanwhile, when you download the data offline, you have the name and email, but the name is missing here. Right. So how do I retrieve it? What you need to do is to add an action card called Get User Profile. It's from Office 365. So as long as those information are available or are profiled on Office 365, you're going to retrieve them but what we need now is name definitely name is going to be there 
guest user profile. So it's asking me that I should supply the principal name or the email ID. All I have is my email ID. I can say responders email. So remember this dynamic option, dynamic content. When I come back to my mail, the information retrieved from this action card will now be available in dynamic content. Now I click here. Do you see that we now have get user profile? And these are the information about that employee that have been retrieved from Office 365 about me, business phone item, the city, the company name. But the name of the person is display name. That's the combination of given name and son name. Given name is your first name, son name is your last name. So display name combines both together. And I'm going to call it display name. Okay, sorry, I need to say dear display name. Thank you for your response to the team's vacation decision survey. Be assured that we respect your decision and we will do our best to ensure the fun to ensure you have your share of the fun regards and I'm just coming here because I want to set the importance to normal. Okay, that way I can save my flow. You see, this is how you can retrieve employees' details. But note that this is only available if the form is being shared with people within your organization. Only people in my organization can respond. If you are saying anyone can respond, then this form will not collect the email for you. You know, you are able to use that email to retrieve. You are able to use the email to retrieve the employee's information from Office 365. But if your audience is not within your organization, you might not be able to do this except you create a question feed that explicitly asks for their name and you can then call on that name. All right, don't forget, I have to change this back so that I can test my flow now. So now that I've saved, I'm going to test manner. So it's, it's loading. Let me just check my mail now. Awesome. In my mail, I have it there. Dear Olani Wajo in Boke, thank you for your response to the team's vacation decision survey. Be assured that we respect your decision and we'll do our best to ensure you have your share of the fund. Regards. You know, I have it now, even though this is still running. You know, we just try its network. So I can easily, you know, go back. Since I've saved my flow, it's so see, you know, it's successful. All right, successful. So don't forget that for you to get employees' response, employees' details within your flow, it is just a matter of. But don't forget that to get the employee details from your flow, it's just by adding this get user profile and the form or the email wherever you store the email that from sharepoint that from exec online should make sure that their email is there and is in the same format that we have it on office traces file all right thank you let me see how you're going to make use of these new tips and what you do especially adding an experience to your form don't let people now that you know this don't just create form for people when you are done creating the form to collect your information add the tips of an experience to it take for, for an example now I can have a condition that will check if the person choose no and send a specific message to the person. If the person choose yes, yes, another message. If the person says uh, maybe, then you can send a message that can help the person make decision on time. Right. Maybe you can try that. But in another, in another video, I'm going to show us that. Thank you.